Hammond. Yeah. Okay. They, they look pretty yellow to me. The green? Well, whatever you think. If you don't think so, we, don't, we won't get them. Take it all the way, all these little layers of, uh, this is called shucks. These are shucks. called shucks. Okay, so we have to take the, the inside part up too? Yeah, yeah, whatever you can peel off. And what I'm doing is, I just want to look at this corn. I'm going to let it dry out some more. We're not going to take the little kernels off today. I'm going to let it dry out some more. Can you get it? What? Can you get it? Okay. How are you going to become a carrot farmer? A carrot farmer? Yeah. I got huh. it. Oh, cool. Yeah. A carrot farmer who sells carrots. You can kind of grab the top and split it up here. Look here. The top. Okay. That's the top. This end is the top. Uh, there you go. You could kind of pull it apart and it'll split it. And um, it might be easier for y'all. Oh. This is like all my Christmas present. Yeah, it's like opening Christmas presents. Oh yeah. my, my, you found a core. You found the core? Yeah, <laughs> cool, cool. Right. Yeah. It's, this is, this is like its skin. Yeah, that protects it while it's growing. But look at here. Look at all this is yellow and white. And then it's purple, purple. It's out of nowhere. Wow. Two purples. I'm gonna put all these chunks in a bag and Michael put them back in the garden later. Oh boy. What? Ants. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Yeah, we're, we might even have some worms in some of this. Will it's okay. You help me? Okay. Me. Okay, here. Mama's gonna open it at the top like this. Uh, where's all the corn? No, this one might not have where's much to it here. Corn? Can you pull the rest of it off? Can uh -huh. let, let Bob put it, pull it off. Can you pull the rest of that off? It's fine. Yeah. It's I'm not even done with this one. Boom. I see pinks. I see pinks in there too. You help me. Okay, I'll help you. What you got in this one? Let's. Oh, look at this pink. one. Blues. Yeah. This one has blues. Pink. pink. Yeah. Purple. That's beautiful. Look at here. You got like lavender dark purple you got a lot of white ones on there but they're beautiful and yeah. they're big okay i'll take a look oh mama he did it you did it <laughs> you did it well this is just kind of white white and yellow and pink he's got some pinks on that one too oh, yeah. a little pink on it. what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually let this corn dry out and then I'm going to save the seeds, and then um, we're going to replant some next year. I love it, baby. Yeah. I love it. Well, let's open another one for you. Look at my shredding. I love it. Let's open this one for you. Huh? Let's just pull these, pull this back. Let's pull this back. You want to pull these off and see what you can do? Yeah. Okay. What you got? What colors you got on there? Do you know? Uh, me? Purple. Purple. That's right. Uh, Good job. He got purple, yellow, white, and pink. Good job. Oh, he did it. <laughs> now, how did you end up with this big one? <laughs> Smooth it. move there. This part is where a worm was in it. But I don't see any mold or anything on them. They look pretty darn good. I'm trying to get all these little, these are called silks. They look like little hairs. They're called silks. Pears. Hairs, not pears. <laughs> Hair. Not pears. Hairs. Hairs. What'd you say? Pears. No, not pears. I call them paper. Call them hairs. They're called silks. Silks. Yep, silks. 
Hello? Um, you got them all over your pants. <laughs> okay, so we got four good ones. Here, put your two down there. Put them over here. Let's count. How many is that? Wait, wait, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay, one. wonder what color this is going to be. What y'all think? Uh, my think it's going to be blue and yellow and gray. Blue, yellow, and gray? What do you think? Blue, right there. Yep, let's see what it is. Okay. White. Orange. It's white. all white. How is it all white? Look at here, one little yellow one right there, look. Right there. Wow. That's and it's all white. But I love it. It's all white, but it's beautiful. Turtles oh. are huge. Oh, what would be this one, Mama? Look at that one. Let's open that one. Uh-oh, yeah. whoopsie. Whoopsie. Kiddo. Whoopsie's kiddo. <laughs> you always take that. You'll pick so it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's, do it. let's do it together. One. Mama, this one's so easy. Three. You're just three. That's what we're settling on. Okay. Ah! This is the best day ever. Best day ever? Yeah. Why? Yeah, it's the best one ever. Y'all are big helpers. Thanks. Now we um, I think I have one more Corn? cob out there that I that I saw when we were in the golf cart yesterday. Wait, wait, wait. Let's count them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Nice. Two, we three, got four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We'll just leave those there. We're going to uh, look at them all in a minute. Let's go get that other one. Okay. Look at two corn, Okay. Right? This is number 10. On one side, it doesn't look that great, but on this side, it's got a lot of good kernels. Okay. That's number 10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your heart. There you go. Good job. You're welcome. welcome. Good job. Hey, Eleven. Eleven. Let's count them. Wait, wait, wait. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we did eleven. Good job. We did good. I want to take a picture. It's July 2nd. We're in South Louisiana. It's 90 something degrees with 25,000% humidity. <laughs> you bake. You bake when you walk outside at 9.30 in the morning and you bake until the sun goes down that evening. And then a lot of times it's still humid. Why in the world would you choose to garden when a lot of the things you need to harvest and such you have to get out in this kind of weather to do it. I don't know why. There's a lot of reasons I could state. Food, food security, wanting to prepare to put things back for the economy, and on and on and on. And all of that is true. But really, you could just go to the store and buy a lot of stuff, spend some money, and stock up on things. If it's just a matter of having the food, there's a lot of ways to get it besides this weather and enduring this heat and all the things that can come along and take your crops and take them down. So what in the world makes it worthwhile? And I'm going to tell you, and I've told you on so many videos before, that the underlying thing that goes through my mind all the time when I'm gardening and planning and doing things is making sure I have things for my grandkids. And yes, you can get things at the store, but there's a sense of peace and security to knowing that you're putting in the infrastructure in your yard, in your soil, with the seed bank that you build up, with the tools that you accumulate, with the skills and the knowledge that you learn and you teach yourself and others and you learn from others. And you're putting all these things in place to where you can be a line of defense in this world. Momo's house can be a line of defense. 
to where when the stores are crazy or you don't even want to go in them, you know there's a place you can go that's going to have some good food. And in the meantime, while preparing for all that, I get to enjoy the company of my grandkids. All of them love being out in our yard. They love where we live, our new home place. They love going outside with me to feed the horse, to do all this gathering. I do it for them. In the end, y'all, there's no other reason to endure this heat and all. I do it for them. This is Lainey from Hilltop Home Place. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.